sand pit. Pepper and her friends are playing in the sand pit. This sand pit is our desert island. We will live here forever. <laughs> if we're going to live here forever, I want it to be nice. It just needs some houses. And roads. And shops. Dinosaur. <laughs> yes, George. The desert island can have dinosaurs too. What are you doing? We're making a desert island. It's got houses and roads and shops. Has it got trees? No. It would be nicer if it had trees. Where are we going to get trees from? We have to drive big trucks around the world and look for trees. Dinosaurs, you look after the island while we go and look for some trees. Brum, brum, brum. Pepper, Susie, Danny and Emily are pretending to drive around the world looking for trees. Have you got any spare trees? Uh. We need trees for our desert island. Oh, I see. How many trees would you like? Enough to make a forest. There you go. Thank you. The dinosaurs are having fun jumping up and down on the desert island. <laughs> the dinosaurs have broken everything. Naughty dinosaurs. Now we'll have to make it all again. Meow. What are you making? This is our desert island. With roads and houses. And shops. And trees. There. We will live here forever. Again. It would be really good if we had a lake. Yes, a lake. <coughs> One lake. But it needs water to be a proper lake. Oh, where are we going to get water from? We must fly around the world in aeroplanes. <coughs> Pepper and her friends are pretending to fly around the world looking for water. Pedro Pony is playing on the roundabout. <coughs> Pedro, we've got a desert island with houses and roads, shops, trees and a lake. But we need water for the lake. Have you got some, please? I don't know what you're talking about. It's just pretend. We're playing a game. Oh, I see. You want pretend water. Yes. Hmm, I know where there's pretend snow. We can melt it to get pretend water. Where? On the mountain top. That's a slide. It's a pretend mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Pedro? Because it is a hot day, the snow has melted. Can't we pretend it hasn't melted? No, it's melted good and proper. Oh. oh. But look, over there, real water. Daddy Pig is drinking from the water fountain. Water! <laughs> Daddy, can we have some water in our bucket, please? We're making a lake. Oh, oh of course. <laughs> We've got water. Nice water. It is Freddy Fox. Hello, everyone. What's this? It's a desert island. We are going to live here forever. If only it had a flag. I've got a flag in my van, if you'd like it. Mr Fox has got everything in his van. Uh, we only need a pretend one, Mr Fox. OK. How about these? Thank you, Mr Fox. <laughs> Our desert island is perfect. We will live here forever. Again! <laughs> <laughs> Night animals! Pepper and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Grandpa, where are you going? It's bedtime. Don't worry, Pepper. I'm just going into the garden to collect slugs and snails. Why? Grandpa doesn't like slugs and snails because they eat his vegetables. And the best time to find them is at night with this torch. 
Can George and me come too? Please? <coughs> OK. Just this once. Put your coats and boots on. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their coats and boots over their pyjamas. You carry the bucket, Pepper, and I'll hold the torch. Don't stay out too late, Grandpa Pig. OK, okay Granny Pig. <laughs> we'll put all the slugs and snails in the bucket. Ah, one little snail. Two little snails. <laughs> and a slug. Eh, slugs are yucky. <laughs> Here are Grandpa Pig's chickens. Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night, night, chickens. Night, night, chickens. Night, night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? Because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr. Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, good night. night. Now, as I was saying... Some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello. Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes. It's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. <laughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr. Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. Bye-bye, <laughs> hedgehog. Bye-bye. Are there any more night animals, Grandpa? Yes, there are moths. Ooh, they look like butterflies. Butterflies that come out at night. They like the torchlight. When it goes off, they leave. When the light goes on, they come back. <laughs> Can I try? OK. Bye-bye, moths. Hello, moths. Bye-bye, moths. <laughs> and if we leave the torch off, we can see another very tiny night animal. Where? Look up at the sky. Is it a shooting star? No, that is a firefly. Is it on fire? Oh, no, Pepper. It has a tummy that glows. Wow! Are there any big night animals in your garden, Grandpa? No. Oh, what's that? It's a big night animal. Oh, it's Granny Pig. <laughs> there you are. Granny, Granny, we've been saying hello to all the night animals. <laughs> Lovely, but now it's time to say good night to them. Good night, night animals. <sighs> and it's well past bedtime for you little piggies. Yes, Granny Pig. Good, good night, night, little, little ones. ones. Good night, Granny. Good night, Grandpa. Night, night. Holiday. Pepper and George are going on holiday. They are packing their bags. You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. <laughs> Just take the important ones. OK. I'll take Teddy and George can take... Dinosaur. <laughs> Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> that 
that sounds nice. Oh, Granny and Grandpa, why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. <coughs> It is Mr. Bull in his taxi. He is taking Pepper and her family to the airport. Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. Whoa! That's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. This is the airport. Goodbye. Have a lovely holiday. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. You can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh! Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. I saw. <laughs> That's mad. This is the aeroplane that will take Pepper and her family on holiday. Airplane! Meow! George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Pepper. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> This is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! Whee! Look, Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Pepper? It's all cloudy and rainy. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. Pepper and her family are flying through the sky on their way to a sunny holiday. 